How are you doing? I'm great. So one of the things that I learned today that I get to ask you is that you're on Osoka. Yeah. And we now we get to talk about that. Okay, so good. So what was like what was it like finding out that they wanted you know your character to be part of the series? It was a real treat and a big surprise and I love that um, Disney and um, Dave and, and, and that people are are interested in exploring this woman and also that she's she's such a valuable part of the story. I love that. Obviously, I'm quite passionate about her because I play her, but it was wonderful to be asked to step in and just play for a moment on uh, Ahsoka. The other thing is that Andor is not using the volume and Ahsoka uses the volume. Yeah. So what was that like for you? That was extraordinary for me because I've never experienced anything like that before. Um, I one of the things I love about Andor and I'm quite passionate about is how much is filmed in camera that all those sets that we walk on that you can touch them that you can feel them that they feel that they're a part of the fabric of the piece and they're part of the fabric of our performances as well because they're so tactile they're wonderful um, going on to, uh, being able to have the opportunity to go onto the volume was really different and it was amazing to be able to work with different filmmakers with different crews um, and, and how they work in a very different way it, 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 it's a it's a different style it's um, I feel very fortunate that I have, have been ha had the opportunity to step into those different worlds. So my last thing for you, or maybe it's not, who knows. So now let's talk about Andor season two. Yeah. We saw that footage, <laughs> looks fantastic, which is not a surprise. Uh, we see uh, it, what looks like more missions, more everything. So where do we find you? In, in season two, what can you tease about season two? Well, I think what Tony does did brilliantly and what everybody really strived for in season one is to set up that whole world. You know each of the characters intimately by the end. You know what, they, what their ideals are, you know what they are passionate about, you know what their, uh, what the, what their own personal sacrifice is. It really investigates sacrifice in the weight, in, in the, with the wall of oppression, how, what is, a collective sacrifice and what is a personal sacrifice and Mon Mothma's we learned in Andor so beautifully is that Mon Mothma's Mon Mothma meets the Empire not just at work not just within the Imperial Senate but also at home yeah. and so what does she have to sacrifice in order to fuel or to continue or to support um, rebellion against oppression and I was going to say is there any chance of a divorce I mean you'll have to see um, you have to see how, how it evolves I think what we do know is that in in Rogue One she's in Yavin right so we know there's a ways to go in season two and we're right in the middle of it and I'm so excited. I, I, I can't wait for you to see it. Listen, uh, Tony basically told me, uh, of, like, Yavin's coming. He said to me, it's like, things you know have to happen are coming on season two. Like, you know? it's happening. And yeah. it's, 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 it's grittier, it's more passionate, it's more dangerous, it's more emotional. Like, the emotional weight of season two is it's quite a thing. I'm so excited for you to see it. On that note, I'm just going to say congrats, and I really can't wait until next year.